The international shipping business is vital to world trade. The vessels involved carry in excess of 9 billion tons of cargo annually, completing more than 4.5 million journeys. But what happens if one of these vessels, which may be transporting goods with a value of 100 million US dollars or more, runs into difficulty? If you're the ship's captain, your life may be at risk, along with the lives of your crew members. If you're the ship's owner, there's your property to think of, and that of any clients using your ship to transport their goods, as well as the risk of damage to the environment. Both of you have one priority, to effect a salvage operation as quickly and efficiently as possible. There's no time to negotiate contracts and settle terms. You just need a professional salver to assist before the situation deteriorates further and your ship and its cargo are potentially lost. Now imagine you're a salver. You have the specialist equipment available. You want to help, but you also want to know that you have an agreement in place that will reward you for your efforts. For all parties, there's one simple solution that brings clarity, security, and a timely resolution to the situation. The Lloyd's Standard Form of Salvage Agreement better known as Lloyd's Open Form. For more than 100 years, this simple contract has acted as a standard framework that enables salvage services to be provided without delay. Managed and administered by Lloyd's, the Lloyd's Open Form carries authority that is respected around the world. When salvage services are agreed under the Lloyd's Open Form, the salver notifies the salvage arbitration branch of Lloyd's which in turn ensures that all interested parties are kept informed of developments. To protect the interests of the salver, and in order to allow the voyage to be completed, the salvage arbitration branch collects security from the owners of the ship and cargo or their insurers, who may be located all around the world. The level of security is determined by the salver. In 75% of cases, the property owners and salvers will agree on an appropriate level of reward. If, however, no agreement can be reached, the salvage arbitration branch will appoint an arbitrator, a legal expert in maritime matters, to determine the level of reward which is fair to all parties and encourages salvage operations. The parties retain solicitors to gather evidence in support of their respective cases and barristers to present them to the arbitrator at a hearing. In making a decision, the arbitrator considers factors such as the amount of time taken to carry out the salvage operation, the risks presented to the salver, and the value of the property salved. The salvage arbitration branch then publishes the arbitrator's award and ensures that funds are collected and forwarded to the salver prior to releasing the security. All parties have benefited. Losses to property interests have been reduced. Any delay to the voyage has been kept to a minimum, potential environmental damage has been averted, and the salver has received a fair and appropriate reward. Simple, trusted and efficient, Lloyd's Open Form continues to support all parties involved in global maritime adventures.